Welcome to our lecture online and continuing with our pre-calculus. Again, what we're doing here is reviewing our algebra at a very quick pace because these are very important concepts that we need to know well in order to go on with trigonometry and more complex algebraic concepts. So here we're looking at solving linear equations. And in order to do that well, there are certain set of steps that you want to go through. For example, step one, you want to make sure that you eliminate decimals, fractions, and parentheses first. Do that first. Next, you want to move all the terms that have the variable you're looking for over to one side of the equation, preferably to the left, and everything else to the right side. Third, you want to then combine like terms on both sides of the equation. And finally, fourth, you want to divide both sides of the equation by the numerical coefficient, that means the number in front of the variable, the numerical coefficient in front of the variable, uh, you want to divide both sides of the equation by that number. Okay, so what do we do first? Here we have some fractions, you want to get rid of fractions. The way you do that is to multiply both sides of the equation by the lowest common denominator. Now in this case, since we have a 5 and a 2, the common denominator would be simply 2 times 5 or 10, so multiply both sides of the equation by 10. When we do that here, 5 goes into 10 twice, so 2 times 2 is 4, that's 4x minus 40x equals, 2 goes into 10 5 times, so that's 5x plus 8 times 10 is 80. So that's how we get rid of those fractions. With decimals, you want to find the one that has the greatest number of decimal places, in this case 2. So you want to multiply both sides by 1 with then 2 zeros. So however many decimal places you have, it's a 1 with that many zeros. In this case, a 1 with 2 zeros. So multiply both sides of the equation by 100. And if you do that, the left side becomes 10x plus 4x plus 2200 equals the right side becomes 60x. And again, that's how we get rid of the decimal. So now we simply have a linear equation. You can then follow the next three steps to solve that. And finally, when you have parentheses like that, you want to get rid of those first. In this case, you can see that you don't even need parentheses, 4x minus 3. And here you want to distribute the 5 twice like that. So plus 10x plus 20 equals 3x minus 5. And that's what you want to do first in all cases. Next, you want to move all the numbers or all the terms that have a variable in it to the left side of the equation. So I took the third example there, put it over here, and notice that we want to move the 3x to the left side. Remember, when you move something across the equal sign, the sign changes. So the plus 3x, when you move it to the left side, becomes a minus 3x. So this becomes 4x plus 10x minus 3x equals, the minus 5 is already there, when you move the minus 3 across, that becomes a plus 3. When you move the plus 20 across, that becomes a minus 20. The next thing you do is you combine all the terms on both sides of the equation. So on the left side, you combine the three terms. That's 14 minus 3, or 11x, equals. And on the right side, that's minus 25 plus 3, or minus 22. So combine all like terms. And finally, you want to divide both sides of the equation by the numerical coefficient, the number in front of the variable. So in this case, this becomes x is equal to minus 2, and that would be the solution. If you have time, as this was a test, and you had a little extra time, you want to then take your result and plug it back into the original equation to see if the left side equals the right side, just to make sure you didn't make a mistake. But that's how we do that. That's your general technique of how you solve linear equations.